Welcome to the CORE Key Concepts screencast. This is part two of the guided tour series. In this screencast, I will outline the key concepts that makes CORE a unique and valuable tool. CORE's integrated system design repository supports the many individuals who are adding, deleting, changing, and reviewing design information that results in the specification of a system. This centralization allows all team members to work from a common, controllable baseline. Additionally, this approach is key to providing consistency of the elements in the system design and assures that all design views are synchronized and consistent. Our approach to attaining an explicit system specification is grounded in the use of the system definition language provided with CORE. The system definition language is a formal, structured language which avoids the ambiguity inherent in using English to define or specify a system. The precise meaning of each language concept is fixed and documented to enhance team communication and assure unambiguous interpretation of specifications using this language. Let's take a deeper look at the system definition language, exploring how this translates into the specific pieces of the core schema. Elements correspond to nouns in English. Elements define objects and serve as the basic units in the system repository. Core groups these elements into one of several classes, such as components and functions in the system repository. Relationships are similar to verbs. To be precise, a relationship that defines a link between two elements corresponds to the mathematical definition of a binary relation. Relationships are not commutative, where each relationship has a definite subject and object. However, for each relationship, there is a complementary relationship that defines the link from the object to the subject. For example, when you allocate a function element to a component element using the allocated to relationship, CORE automatically creates the performs relationship linking the elements in the reverse direction. Attributes further describe elements, much like adjectives modify nouns. The attributes of an element serve to define critical properties of elements. For instance, Attributes of a component would include the component number and component type. Attributed relationships correspond to adverbs in English. The attributes of a relationship serve to define critical properties of the relationship. For instance, attributes of a consumes relationship would include the quantity being consumed. Structures provide specification of semantically explicit system control constructs such as concurrency, iteration, loop, multiple exit, replication, selection, and sequences. Using this explicit notation, the behavior of the system can be validated and shown to be executable using CoreSim. CoreSim dynamically interprets a behavior model so the simulation is always synchronized with the current model contained in the System Design Repository. In CORE, the System Definition Language is referred to as a schema. This diagram illustrates a subset of the basic schema, showing some of the primary systems engineering classes and relationships between them. CORE dynamically generates diagrams directly from the System Design Repository, ensuring that they are consistent with current design details. A change made in any view changes the design information in the repository, and conversely, a change made to the database is automatically reflected in the views. CORE delivers a mixture of structured and object representations enabling you to satisfy the specific needs of your project. These diagrams permit system models to be viewed in as many layers of abstraction as necessary to understand the model. The Entity Relationship Diagram displays the element and its relationships to other elements. The Hierarchy Diagram graphically displays several layers of relationships between elements on a single diagram. These relationships include functional, physical, and traceability hierarchy views. The Requirements Diagram shows system requirements and their relationships to logical and physical components of the solution. The Use Case Diagram describes the functionality of a system in terms of how its users interact with the system to achieve their goals. 
The functional flow block diagram shows functional flow, including control logic. The enhanced functional flow block diagram and activity diagram portray behavioral flow, control logic, and inputs, outputs, and triggers. The sequence diagram represents the interactions between functions and their corresponding components. The integration definition for function modeling diagram, commonly referred to as the IDEF0, shows functions, inputs, outputs, controls, and mechanisms. The N-squared diagram displays functions and their internal and external inputs and outputs in a matrix format. The block definition diagram shows composition and classification of the physical architecture. The physical block, interface block, and internal block diagrams show composition and connectivity, both physical and logical, of the physical architecture. The core report generator enables you to extract information from the core system design repository and present it in virtually any desired format. Reports allow you to view the system design information in different ways. Reports in Core can range from a simple query to complex formal documents. Reports and analysis for engineering or management support are generated through the use of more than 50 standard utilities, queries, and report templates provided with Core. Most reports are generated using rich text format that can be imported into word processors such as Microsoft Word for previewing, editing, and printing. This concludes Part 2 of the Guided Tour. The next screencast in this series covers Part 3, Examining Core. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Email me at support at